Hi everyone, Jennifer here with a tutorial for you today. Today I am going to do what I call a lips, lashes, and liners liner tutorial. Um, this is basically a redo of the look I wore in my last review video for the Laura Geller double dip lipstick and the um, Elf Studio Eyelash Curler video. This is a request from Sunshine Girl and this will be my first tutorial request video so I hope you all enjoy it and please feel free to send me your requests uh, via the comment section of this or any other video. As I always say I might not have a lot of um, space with which, in which to do tutorials and I may not have the best camera but I will always try to uh, complete them and execute them as best I can for you. Um, as you can see I've already done my foundation for this look. I've also filled in my eyebrows and primed my eyelids and curled my eyelashes. For priming my eyelids I used the e.l.f. Studio Eyelid Primer and a little bit of pressed powder applied with an uh, eyeshadow brush and there isn't any actual shadow on my eyes today it's literally just liner and mascara that's been smudged but it's two different colors of liner I've got teal on the upper eyelid and black on the lower eyelid um, and mascara on both the top and bottom lashes and I'm also wearing a Revlon lip butter as a subtle blush because that day that I wore that look I didn't really want to use a pink blush um, and you can use your lip sticks and lip butters and things like that for a blush a lot of the time and that's what I did on that day and since I'm duplicating that look for Sunshine Girl and for you all today um, that's what I've done here and the lipstick will be a mixture of the two colors and the Caribbean Kiss Laura Geller lipstick so to get started as I said I've already curled my eyelashes I'm going to use the elf Shimmer Eyeliner Pencil, it's like a teal. It's got a slight little bit of shimmer to it. You can start your eyeliner from whichever direction you like. Today, going inward feels good for me. So that's what I'm going to do. Little, little bit, tiny, tiny, tiny bit of a wing at the end. There we go. And I primed my lids with as I said, the e.l.f. Uh, Studio Eyelid Primer, which is about a dollar to three dollars. I got it in a kit, so I'm not sure how much it would cost on its own. I believe it's three dollars. Okay, so the top line is finished. It's a little harsh right now, but I am going to smudge them both out just as soon as I finish them. I'm going to take a similar effect, almost identical, black eyeliner, brightening black eyeliner pencil from Elf to do the lower line. And you just connect the lower line with your upper line. On the teal. You can do this in your waterline if you want to. I wasn't just 
I, I just wasn't feeling particularly lucky with that today. I was worried I was going to poke an eye out. I'm feeling a little physically spastic, but that's okay. And I only went about three quarters of the way through on the lower lash line. Today and the day I did this week. I had I didn't have many eyeshadows at the time, so this was something I wanted to do. It's a little more original than me. A neutral sort of topish eyeshadows that I currently have. I've got another one on the way and like I said, please feel free to ask nicely for a tutorial, and I will gladly film it and upload it as soon as I can. Um, the options, because of the new eyeshadow palette that's coming, are almost endless. So, like I said, feel free to let me know what you want to see. And I'm going to take my pinky finger. I just smudge these ever so slightly. Not a ton. So the lines don't look so harsh. I'm sorry, I'm only basically doing the color makeup today. It's just, I've done my foundation routine. For you all in another video before, and I wanted to keep this tutorial relatively short because I know it's sometimes a little bit of a drag to have to watch a 25 or 30 minute video of somebody doing their makeup, and sometimes those sped through tutorials don't give enough instruction or give you enough of an opportunity to see what the person is doing. Um, let me know also what type of tutorial you would like to see and what video filming format. If you like this where I'm talking and giving instruction or whether you like um, the half face tutorial or the entire face or um, the ones where I basically do a bunch of smaller videos and sort of splice it together. Let me know what it is you'd like to watch and what it is, what it, what format um, makes you most comfortable in your viewing time, and I will gladly try to accommodate you as best I can. Next, I'm going to do a few coats of mascara. With the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. This is just a black lengthening mascara. That costs about $3 at your local drugstore. You get the top of your upper eyelashes. You get the rest of it. Good coats on there. Try to get as many lashes as possible. Sorry, this part takes so long. I have reddish blonde eyelashes and it just sort of makes them hard to see. Right here. I'm going to get the top one. I'm going to get the bottom one as well. I'm 
that's the completed kind of look. I've also concealed my dark circles. I just wanted a little bit of teal eyeliner up here because I feel like, um, especially green or bluish eyeliner or eye eyeshadow color can be a little bit too garish. So I prefer to blend it out very well when I do use it and to almost use it because this one has a brightening quality to it, like a reflective eyeshadow almost. I guess that's what you'd call it. So that almost your whole lid uh, reflects the teal color onto your eyelids in a way. And there's that. Some of you might want to go all the way in. I didn't go all the way in on the original day I did this and um, decided not to today. I'll try to get a little closer for you. So you can see. Exactly what this looks like. There you go. Top of the eyelids. Open eyes. Next, I'm going to do the blush. <coughs> This is Revlon's, I believe it's Color Burst with Butter, in Pink Truffle. You can use whatever blush you'd like. It can be powder, it can be cream, it can be whatever you want. I just didn't want to do a particularly strong blush with this look because it was mainly liner, lashes, and lips. I'll just take a little bit of this on my hand so that I'm still able to use this product for my lips if I want to. Turn that down. Take a ring finger, a uh, pointer finger, and a middle finger, and just sort of warm them up and blend them together. Put that on the cheeks and then rub it in. It's very, very subtle. In fact, there's hardly it hardly appears that you're wearing any blush. It just gives a slight little bit of definition to the cheek. It doesn't need to be speckled on every single day. Um, that's just my opinion. If you feel you need a little bit more, go back to your hand, or go back to the tube, and get more. But I think that looks pretty good. Yep, just a tiny little sort of flush, nothing major. Next, and lastly, I'm going to do the lips with the Laura Geller double dipped lipstick. This is the lipstick with two sides. This color combination is called Caribbean Kiss. It's got a pink and a bronzy pink on each opposite side. And I like to wear it more bronze with a little bit of pink and then I'll kind of mixing them together. I usually just apply my lipstick straight from the tube, no lip liner or anything. Um, 
I like flip liner for particular purposes and on to other people, but for the most part, lip liner is a little too difficult for me to do. Um, so I just skip it personally, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay. I do one lip pink. Sort of press it onto the upper lip like that, and then you know, just a tiny bit of pink showing on the upper lip, and then take the bronze and give the upper lip Is. Run them together to your satisfaction. You can do this with any two lip colors or any one lip color that you would like. It doesn't matter to me. Be creative. That's part of what inspired this look and brought this about. I had to be creative with the relative few products I had, and this is the look that came from that. And that's the completed look, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Uh, have a great day. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know what types of video formats you'd like to see the most. Um, and what type of looks you'd like to see me do in tutorials. And I will gladly get those executed and filmed and uploaded as soon as possible. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you all so much for subscribing, so much for watching, and so much for just happening by. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.